welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super stoked today because I have Courtney, and if you've been watching my channel, you know I have been um, really wanting her. My mom gave her to me for my birthday, and I am really excited to open her. I haven't opened a new American Girl doll since um, Cecile and Marie Grace, so that those were the last. Um, American Girls that I got. I have not been this pumped about a new American Girl doll in forever. So I'm like so excited to open her. Now of course I'm an adult collector uh, so this is totally for me. And she is from 1986. And here is her book, Courtney Changes the Game, which I am actually going to read. I'm probably going to read it today. Um, so the back says Courtney's the best gamer at the arcade, but she can't understand why there aren't more girl characters. I feel you, Courtney. Um, when Courtney imagines her own video game, the hero is a girl who knows how to handle any situation. So this is going to be really cool to read and get to know more about Courtney's story. So now let's get to the totally cool doll. Uh, all right, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so there's this plastic band. This used to be a rubber band, but it's like a soft, clear plastic band. I don't know how long they've been doing that. Like I said, the last time I got a new one was, um, I got Cecile and Marie Grace when they came out, both of them. And let's see, this um, just kind of comes loose. So that's nice. Wow. Her outfit is so cool, so, so, it is so totally cool, in case you wondered. It's not just cool, it's totally cool. Ah, how freaking exciting. Okay, I'm gonna cut these bottom, bottom ones. Let's see, there's that, and then that. All right, so I'm going to free her now. Oh, her hairnet is stuck on the, Neck brace. Yay, Courtney! And Courtney is such an 80s name. I, there were so many girls in my class named Courtney. Wow. So many girls my age that are named Courtney <laughs> right now. So, uh, oh, y'all. I love her. I love the acid wash denim skirt. I have never been able to wear a denim skirt well. I've always wanted to, but every time I wear it, it didn't look right on me. It is so cute on her. And we've got this, um, so she's got, you know, I miss the squishy limbs, but there's something about this, like, this type of harder vinyl. It smells so nice. So she's got this crop shirt, and then I don't know if this purple thing, is it a bodysuit or is it... Um, no, it's just a long shirt, so that's not a bodysuit. It's just like a long shirt under there, and she's got these hot pink tights and her white little booties. Oh my gosh. Eee. Ah, I love her. I really love her. Oh my word. Okay, I'm going to take her hairnet off now and release these um, curls. Look at her scrunchie. Oh, the scrunchie's made of cool material. Look at her. Oh, she's so cool. Her hair's shorter than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I thought in all the promos I've seen her hair was longer, but it's just my imagination, maybe. Oh, look at her. I love her. I really love her. Ah, she is so cool. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put her box to the side. And then I'm um, gonna look at, there we go. Gonna look at her accessories. So this is like the first part. I am trying to collect her whole collection. So this is the first step is Courtney and her accessories. So I can officially check those two items off the list. I'm gonna put this in the box too. I like to just keep all the little wrappings. Um, so let's check out her accessories. Oh, Courtney, you're so awesome. Okay, so with her accessories, it looks like there's some bracelets, a cassette player, like a Walkman, a Lip Smackers necklace, which I had a Lip Smackers necklace when I was a kid. So for me, that's 
super cool. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, this is sealed with a sticker. My mom bought these at the AG store. So, um, so she probably, knowing my mom now, I don't know because I wasn't with her, but knowing my mom, she probably looked at all the Courtney faces um, to be sure that she got one that had a nice face. Because if you're, if you're an adult doll collector like me, you know that like some faces of some dolls are a little bit wonky. It's just like when I go buy a fashionista, like if I'm going to buy one of the Barbie fashionistas, I look at everyone there to find the, which one has the best face paint. I think my mom probably did that with Courtney. So... And, and I do, her face looks really nice. So when I'm looking at her, like I like her face. A lot of people complain about them having weird, one eye being different than the other, but you know, faces in general aren't perfectly symmetrical. And so a lot of times when they mold a doll, they do that on purpose because it's more realistic that way. Okay, so let's get to her accessories. I cannot wait to collect her entire collection. Uh, okay. All right, so we have this, um, there's a button. Let's see what, oh, it's a clip-on button. And it is, says um, Maureen for Mayor. And that looks like it's just kind of screen printed on there. Now, I don't know, um, since I haven't read the book yet, I assume this is part of the book. Um, but we'll put that on her shirt. Let's see if it's too hard to get on. Nope, slides right on. No issues there. Okay, now we've got uh, a mixtape mix tape case. So this is Courtney's mix number one, Never Give Up by Dana Selling and Red Workout Honey Pie. I don't think those are real songs. They might be, but... Um, Yay. Does it really open? It really opens. I think it really opens. Yeah, it does. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, oh, it says rad workout. I read it as red workout. <laughs> it's rad workout. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's look at her little cassette too because she's got a cassette. And that's one thing, if you are anywhere near my age, you will remember having made your own mixtapes. Like that was something we used to do. We would sit with our little boom boxes on the radio. We'd call in requests to the radio. And when our requests came on, you would hit record immediately on your boom box and record your tape so you could have your songs on your tape for whenever you want them. That was like common practice. So we put the little tape in her um, case and close it so it does close in there that's nice okay next continuing with the cassette theme let's check out her cassette player or her walkman of course they probably i wonder if they tried to get the licensing to call it a walkman and they couldn't get it because obviously they got the licensing for lip smacker um but this is clearly like a walkman but you know it's um it's not a Waldman because of licensing. So let's see, does this, is it supposed to play or do something? I don't know. Oh, you know what? We can put the tape in there. That's fine. How cool is that? So we can put, so if we want to play like, this has got a lot of play value if you were a kid, which I'm not, but you know, for an adult collector like me, you've got a lot of value for photography here, for display scenes, because you can actually drop the cassette in there. It goes right in. And then you can um, close it. And it has, uh, let's see, do I have it in upside down? Let me put it, put the teeth on the, oh yeah, I must have it upside down. Let's see. Um, mm, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Okay, yeah, so you wanna put it in upside down and then do that. Wow. And it's got a little handle on the back that's perfectly American Girl hand sized. So there we go. So as an adult collector, as I was saying, these things have a lot of um, 
display value, like really great for displays, really great for photography. If you'd like to take pictures of your dolls like I do, um, just a lot of play value for a kid, great collectability value for an adult collector. All right, now we got the neon bangle bracelets. Oh my gosh, I had so many of these when I was a kid. Oh, I had a lot of jelly bracelets, like the jelly ones that had like were different colors and they had glitter in them and stuff like that. And so that was always really fun. Oh, these have like a um, like a diamond design on. It. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it's got like an imprint like there's actually a design in the bracelets I thought they were just smooth but they're not they've got um, this diamond kind of reminds me of like a snake because we got some snakes around here with that diamond so they open let's see I'm just gonna put it on her there we go uh, Wow, 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 wow. This, y'all, mm. got to get her whole collection. Look at her, okay, yay. All right, so um, we've also now got the headphones that go with the Walkman, or the, sorry, not the Walkman, the cassette player. Gotta stop calling it a Walkman, but I'm gonna, Take these out and put them on her. I love that they picked the eighties colors too, because like, it's funny. My husband and I, there's, there's this beach that we go to and we'll ride by and like the beach still has the signage from like all the different resorts still have the signage from the seventies, eighties and nineties. And we'll look at the graphics on the signs and try to call it by the year. Like, oh, that's from 78, that's from 94, that kind of thing. These colors are totally like, <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of some of that signage at the beach. Okay, so these are her headphones and this is kind of twisted up. So let's see, I'm gonna turn her around and let's see how well this goes on. Oh, that's really easy. It went right on. And I believe that this plugs into, there's this little nub here. And I think that's where the headphones are going to plug into. Um, yep. Look at that. That's so cool. So again, play value would be really high if you're a kid, but for a, an adult collector, just imagine the sort of like display you can set up and the pictures you could take with this. It is superb. All right, and now for my absolute favorite accessory in this whole box is her Lip Smacker necklace. Because I had one of these and I loved it. It was like, I had several of these. I didn't just have one. Like I think every Christmas there was a new Lip Smacker necklace in my stocking. So, and this is peach lip. Oh, there's really, like it comes off the cap. Is it a real chapstick? No, okay. I was feeling it like, oh my gosh, is it really real Lip Smacker? It's not, that's plastic. But how cool is that? Like it is. So cool. So basically what I'm gonna probably have to do here is I might have to tape this cap on. Well, it's pretty snug. This is one of those little pieces that'll be easy to get lost. Um, so you're gonna have to be careful with that. So this thing, um, so it's got like this adjustable cord that you can pull. So I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna slip it over her head. I'm gonna put it up under her hair because I don't want to ruin all those beautiful curls on her head. And then let's see if I can get it under her. Let me pull this back out and around. There we go. And I'm gonna tighten it up now. So to tighten it up, we're just gonna grab the two knots and pull. So I want it way tight on her. So let's see if I can pull it all the way tight. Um, now see, I can <laughs> pull it back and forth. So you pull that down and then you stay down and then we need to pull the other one, let's see, back down. 
There we go. Okay. So now I've got that pulled about like I want it. <gasps> She's so cool. Oh my gosh. I love her so much. I love her so much. You know, and the crazy thing is, is the first, gener first of all, the first American Girl came out in 86. So I'm certain that's why they picked 1986 for her because that's when Samantha, Kirsten, and Molly debuted. But the thing is, is that I cannot be the only adult collector going after this. Well, I know I'm not. A lot of my friends want it too, but because so many of us are of this age, a lot of um, women that are my age um, had these dolls growing up and men too, you know, and so now, you know, going back and saying, you know, I, this is so nostalgic for somebody like me that kind of grew up in this era, but also grew up having American girls. I think this is the perfect like doll that's a crop, probably the best crossover they've ever made because American Girl and Mattel, they're very aware that they have a lot of adult collectors. That is not any surprise to them. But as far as crossover, I think this might be the biggest crossover they have as far as a play doll versus a collectible doll because you've got people my age that grew up with the debut of American Girl dolls and um, they're now at the age like I am where they see this doll come out and it's like, oh my gosh, I've got to have that doll. Not only that, if they have children, they probably want to get this doll for their children. You know, if, if their children are getting the first American Girl doll, they're probably steering them right towards Courtney because there's so much nostalgia here for so many reasons. Um, so I would wager, and I, I could be wrong, maybe I'm the only one that's like this, but I would wager there's a whole generation of women and men that grew up with these dolls and that are probably looking at her now, wanting her for themselves, and then possibly steering their children <laughs> towards her as well. So I feel like she's probably um, the biggest crossover as far as for, a, for the kids to play with and for the adults to collect. So anyway, you know, that's just my thought. Um, but I'm gonna go set her up in her little space. She's the only piece I have so far, but if you remember, I made a little space for her in my room, so I'm gonna go set her up in my space um, while she awaits the rest of her collection. All right, so far, here's what I've got for Courtney. I've got my old neon lamp uh, foam next to her because I think that's gonna make a cool ambiance when the whole room's set up to have that pink neon lamp. And here she is set up in her space. I can't wait to get the other pieces to her collection and get it completely set up the way I want it. But she's happy in her little home right now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments what you, how you feel about Courtney. If Courtney's a doll you plan to add to your collection, um, how you feel, what do you think, what are your thoughts on her being, you know, a big crossover between adult collectors and children's play things? Um, just let me know your thoughts on that. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.